Hello, everybody. Easy here from Easy Salt Lab. I just wanted to make a little video on getting my new, that's the new port vessels, electric outboard motor, 62 pound thrust. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut it in half, <clears throat> set it up for the kayak. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is take this off. And all it is is just this slip on clip here. Pull that out. And that's it. All we do is uh, grab a hammer and you know, punch that out. And there it is. The pin comes out. And this comes right off. I don't want to, I'm not going to leave this on there. It's big, bulky, and don't need it. So that'll disregard this thing. This is where the hard part comes out. And you got a perfectly brand new motor. And you're going to cut it in half. And that'll, of course, void your warranty. So you can forget about it. All righty. What I'm going to do now is uh, get the uh, old motor, measure out the sh length of the shaft that I want. Pretty much. Double check. It's 22 inches. And that's where I'm going to have the uh, other one cut at, but not right away though. We'll mark it. And we'll mark it up to right here. This will be where I make my initial cut. What I'm going to do is cut right through everything the wires, pipe, everything. Yeah, and I'll show you why in a little bit. Let me get the hacksaw out here. All righty, I'm set up here now. I've got the uh, main cut that I'm gonna do first, cut all the way through with including the wires and everything. This one is where I'm gonna cut afterwards, but carefully where I won't hit the wires and uh, pull that piece off, then I'll be left with that much wiring so I can uh, connect it to the main wiring going up to the control up by the, where I sit up there. And then from here up there, I'll just pull this off and I'll be left with this much wiring so I can connect it to, uh, connect all these wires from the front to this main wires coming all the way to the back that'll hook up to here. If that makes any sense to you. Alrighty, let me get busy with it. Well, maybe you want to see this. Oh man, it's gonna hurt. Seeing a brand new motor getting cut in half. This is a composite fiberglass a mixture in there, so it's not too hard to cut. And let's get after it. There goes the warranty. Right. <laughs> there we go. Everything cut. All the wires are in there. 
Other end. The wires are already there. I'll put this aside for now. Now I'm carefully going to cut around this side so I can expose this much wiring out and then just get rid of this piece and that'll leave me pretty much with this setup right here. Pretty much. It'll be right here. The wiring will come out. I'll splice in the quick connects and I'll be set. And this will be the same distance length is here to here. All right, we're gonna continue cutting. Like I said, just try to There it goes. Need some on the other side. It's almost there. There was just a thin layer of that fiberglass still. It gave way when I pushed on it. And that's what we want so we don't end up cutting the wires. There it comes. There we go. And there's our and this one right here. It's got this screw right here. That comes all the way through. All right. Now I'm just going to take this piece off by unscrewing it from here. All right. And this should come right off. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. There is one thing I forgot to tell you. We are going to need to uh, open it up just so we can uh, drill a hole back here so we can run these wires out from here kind of like they have the battery wires up here that way we we are going to use this hole to mount it onto the kayak i've got a one of those mighty mounts on the kayak that fits right in here i get on there i just push this down into it and it's on there nice and tight but i need to run these wires through a hole that i need to make up here and then just seal it up with marine sealant and that's not a big deal it's just six screws you gotta take out and then we just turn it over without having to uh, disconnect anything up here or anything we just need to open it up so we can pull the wires up and out that next hole and that way we can use this to mount it onto the kayak all righty i'll be back i'm gonna start taking these screws out all right we've got the screws out so this top portion will come off carefully because there is a wire connected from the bottom part of it up to the head that's for your readings your battery charge amount we just disconnect here with a quick disconnect. There we go. And that goes out of the way. And now here, we're going to be pulling up all these wires from the hole. Bring them up, up top and then just make that hole right around in here. Right down there about a half inch hole so I can run all the wires right through there and then we'll have them out here and we'll have this for mounting it on the kayak all righty let me try to be careful with it because everything might pop up it's just kind of squeezed on there right now but I'll need to break loose those little ties bring up the wires and I'll be all set. Let me get a couple tools I'm going to need. All right. One other thing might be a good idea is to take uh, 
take photos of everything that's on there that way in case you forget how something goes back on there it'll be able to know how to put everything back now this thing sits onto that slot right there Now this one sits onto that groove right here. And that's pretty much it. We don't have to mess with the uh, battery. All right, I'm just gonna pull this whole section up off of there. Get these wires pulled up and we'll make a hole right in here about a half inch hole and run these wires right up right down that way all right there we go we'll make a hole right about here it's just plastic so we'll need a pilot hole just going to run these down through that hole. Actually, I'm going to run, try to run this up this way, see how far I can get it up there. That way I can help plug up that hole if I can get it up far enough. Right, I'll just run the wires through the hole. Clip right here. Not a clip, but a lip that goes under, right under this little snap thing up down there. So let's, okay. Pretty much got everything back the way it belongs. I'll just connect this back. Plug this thing back on there. Right there. Run the wires through where they're not going to get caught when we cover it back up. Right here. I'll be taking this head off and then just splicing all these up onto this. Let's solder them out there real good with some shrink wrap shrink tubing and seal it up real good. Okay, we're just gonna cut all these right here. Get, take this off. And I'm gonna put the new one on. There we go. And we'll just solder them to down here. So I won't be taking this off anyway, the head. So we'll run the wires through down there, kind of out of the way, and solder everything up right here. White, white, black, and red. Let me bring it. All right, we've got disconnect right here. Quick connect. We're just going to be able to. Like that, give it enough slack. And now we'll get the uh, flux. I think you guys know how to do all this already, so pretty much that's what I'm gonna do. Connect all the wires here to this one. Got the two smaller ones here with the other one that I'm gonna attach a new quick connect on it fit on this and we'll bring you back alrighty we soldered all the wires together 
we'll wind them up. I put some um, marine sealant on there already so it can start hardening up, stiffening up anyway. And then I'll come back and put some more until it completely dries out and make sure that there's no leaks in there. And now we got those wires ready. These are ready to quick connect to the existing ones. And this is ready. And we'll just tie these up nice and pretty. And uh, All right. we're ready to hook up the cables and uh, see if it's going to work. I'll get this hooked up here. Lithium battery. Man, that thing just lasts and lasts. Let's charge it up. Run the, run the half out. day that I'm on the propeller over there. There's first gear, first speed, second speed, third, fourth, and fifth speed. And you can hear the sound when you're shifting gears while it, that humming sound gets faster and faster as you Shift the gears up. So, looks to be ready.